Hi there, it's Catherine again from Sunnyside Journals. Oh, 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 hold on. Sunnyside Journals. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can finish this. I, the previous episode, we got things ready to sew faux exterior signature threads down this spine of this old book. So... There we go. Let me, I'm going to hold it up to my window and make sure I didn't uh, forget any holes. No, it looks like I didn't. All right. You know what? We're good to go. All right. Um, I'm actually maybe going to use that thread and I'm going to use this. All right. These can, this can come off. And now I have to remember how I did the stitching. Let me find it. Um, I'm going to keep this photo handy. Oh, I've got two comments. Oh, let's see who commented. Ah. Oh, lovely. Okay, sorry. Let's go back. All right, I'm going to keep that handy. So I go straight down one side, X, straight down, X. Okay, let's try. Now, here's the neat thing about these faux signature threads. The other side, this side, can be an utter mess and no one is ever going to see it again because it's going to get glued between another piece of cardboard so you don't have to sweat too much about being um, a pristine sewer because no one's going to see it unlike when you do um, you know embroidery needlepoint on tablecloths and that in in our mother's and our grandmother's generation um, there was a just a great sense of pride when you could i've just got glue all over my fingers when you could when the back could be almost as pretty as the front my mother was that kind of embroiderer um i uh, was not or even counted cross stitch to be able to have a beautiful uh, back not only is it just a sense of pride because it's pretty uh, but it also lays flatter there's less bulk when you actually um do a nice neat job so we're just gonna go for it you know what I've got to get this blue mat out of my way because it's driving me crazy so hold on a second and I didn't set my timer so <sighs> let's hope I don't talk so long that I get cut off. All right, now I wonder if I'm going to need a thimble. No, those holes are pretty good. All right, so in and out. <sighs> okay, now I want to make good use of my thread. Um, I might go sideways. That might be a better use of my thread. I want an X here. So that needs to go over here. See what I mean? You don't have to sew it up and down because we're not actually sewing in the signature. Okay, so that goes there. So that can actually come up through that hole. This is neat. This is like playing Tetris with your book spine. And that one's going straight. All right. Come on. There you go. Now this is going to be another X. So you need to go there. Going in there. Oh, I'm so excited to do another exposed spine exposed signature threads and you're gonna go there now I left this rather long but I'd rather be safe than store sorry I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet whether I'm going to tie it together or whether I'm going to 
tie a little knot yet. I don't know. I guess I should have thought this out. But sometimes, sometimes the best things happen when you fly by the seat of your pants, right? All right, so you're straight. And then the X is going there. Oh, I could just glue that thread down, actually. It's not going to be stressed out. Now that I think about it, it doesn't need to be knotted. I can just glue it down. There's one X. Now, this has got to go over to... Oh, it's going to go up to there. All right. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll do it anyways. I'll go up to here. That's not going to make it too bulky. You're going to go up to here and in through there. Okay. That looks nice. Now I'm going to go through that hole because that's going to be down to here and then something's going to be there and going to come up here I'm going to go over two need more thread soon. Now which one is the loose end? Are you the loose end? Yes you are. I think I can do one more. All right where did that come out? Oh you gotta go in over here. Yes. All right I think we can get one more in before I need to start a new thread. Oh, that's looking nice. All right, so um, I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to loosely tie these. And then I'm going to glue them down later. So for now, I'm just going to do that because that doesn't matter. That looks nice. I don't want to take off, take out too much floss because then you can get yourself into tangle troubles. So we will work. If we have to do a few, a few goes at it, we will. Come on, you. Wonder if my needle threader would work. <laughs> I doubt it. No. Okay, hold on. I'm going to give myself a fresh edge, and then I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to pause. It's just too tense to do it on the... Yeah, you know. There we go. We're set. All right, so... <clears throat> and through here. Let's just keep going. I didn't expect to be moving sideways, but it's working, so I'm not going to argue with it. Oh, don't you come through. Thank you. Now, let's see. I think you're the one I want. Let's see. Yep. You. is over so you
Gosh, I hope I'm not breathing into the camera right now. Drive me all crazy. I guess we'll find out. Now, I want this one to come out through there. See what I mean? It's looking a little chaotic back there, and no one's ever going to see. That's looking nice. And then when once it's curved a little, I really like I prefer a curve. That's going to look pretty. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I do want to glue these down. Um, I can see how playing with them, I'm running a rant. Uh, I'm running the risk of losing the tautness. So I'm going to glue these down right now. And then I may have to be a little bit patient and let them dry. If you just smush it around, the glue gets in there and they'll just hold. And I'm finished up there, so I don't really need This one, I'm just going to pull that little taut and then glue it down too, and it'll be good to go. You go down. Thank you. And then I'm going to give that a little bit. And you. Let's glue you down. We don't need you that long. finger. All right, where's my crummy? Just making sure that they're well applied. Okay. That was as clean as I could get the cover. I don't know if you can see how grimy it is. This I tried to clean this, and it is just stained and grungy. It's clean. It's just stained. And it's okay. I'll probably be stained when I'm about 112 years old, too. All right, so now we're going to move down to this second uh, row down here. minutes okay we're okay all right fine okay I'm good just need to find my
Now I'm going to have to glue this down. And start another thread. Maybe I can go a little bit longer than I did last time. But of course I could rue the day <laughs> and end up with a great big knot. Let's see. Alright, I'm going to pause and thread the needle. So hold on. Okay, we're good. Now, let's see where we were. Alright, we left off here. Here. Um, I've got ink all over my hands, in case you're wondering what all that crud is. It's just ink. I was doing some finishing touches on the, uh, the Lippincott sewing manual. I wonder if I want to glue you down and just get you out of the way. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. There we go. Baby wipe. Now, let's see where I need to, let's see where we need to start to make this go as smoothly as possible. Hmm. I'm tempted to run right over here and start again over here. And I don't see any problem with doing that because I've got lots of thread. <laughs> but we'll see, eh? <laughs> Ay, yikes. Oh, let's just do it. Sideways and out there. And this is going to be an X, so you need to go there. Yes, oh, whew. I almost panicked for a second. So little grandbaby number 17 is doing great. He's uh, doing all the things a little two-week-old baby should do. He's eating and pooping and sleeping, all those wonderful baby things. His sisters are completely in love with him. It'll be nice when this pandemic is over and we can meet. 
You get to see pictures. Thank goodness, modern technology. And then now we wait for little baby number 18. Because, <laughs> of course, we didn't have enough. <laughs> Grandbaby number 18 has a little ways yet. End of the summer. He or she has to bake a little bit longer. One last through there and we're done we did it yay oh jeepers I'm sending fabric tack flying around that looks nice oh I love it I'm in love again that feels nice all right so um, so here's what uh, I'll give you a sort of a little idea what I was talking about. Um, let me make sure this is snug. Yep. Um, trim that. Um, I'll glue that down in a second. So I have the second one. I'm not going to be able to do it right now because um, I'm going to curve this and then it's going to go in on top of there. So that's what I meant when I said even if the back was a mess no one's going to see it because it's going to be inside there and then all we're going to see is the pretty stitching on the outside and I think that turned out really nicely. So yay! Thanks so much for uh, sewing along with me. I'm going to finish up gluing down this last little tail and just securing those and um, I'm probably going to start looking through my papers and see what I want to use as end papers for this pretty little book. Well, thanks for bearing with me and putting up with the, putting up with me. One of these days we're going to have to do a running count on how many times I say rats and jeepers. <sighs> Take care, everyone. We'll talk soon.